In this video, we're going to learn about Smartsheet automations, specifically how to automatically assign someone when certain criteria is met. This is extremely helpful when you have multiple tasks or multiple projects going at once. It saves you a buttload of time and it makes it very simple. Let's dive in. All right, we got our sheet here and let's go ahead and um, populate some projects so we can show you how this automation works when you have multiple projects running at once. So to add a bunch of dummy projects, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click in the cell here and I'm just going to click and drag all the way across. And then on the bottom right here, this little tiny blue square, I'm just going to click that and I'm going to drag it all the way down. So let's do that. So you get the crosshairs there. Let's drag it all the way down. There we go. Maybe we want to do a few more. We'll do that. All right, so we got project applesauce one, two, three, four, all the way through 20. And today I want to set up an automation where when status changes to ready for intake, when that happens, that's the trigger. And when status changes to ready for intake, then I want the PM column right here to automatically assign a PM for me. And it's I want it to assign a PM that I've already chosen. So to do that, I'm going to go and click Save. Let's go into our automation up here on the top left. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create from scratch. I'm going to call it number four. Assign PM when status is ready for intake. All right, so the trigger, as I just mentioned, is when status, so we're going to go to the columns here, and we're going to go to status, when status changes to ready for intake. And as you notice here, what's really cool about this trigger is you can actually have multiple triggers at once. So if it was ready for intake or in progress, this automation would work. You can choose multiple. But for this trending video, I'm just going to choose the one, ready for intake. All right, we got our trigger set. Now let's go ahead and scroll down till we get to assign people, assign people. So we're going to click into this one. And it's going to ask us to choose a contact column. We have the PM and vice president columns. I just want it to be the PM one. And then right here, I'm going to click in here where it says add a contact or email address. And I'm just going to choose one person. Maybe I want to choose myself or let's choose, let's choose, I'll just choose this person. All right. So anytime that status changes to ready for intake, I automatically want it to assign to GC person one. All right, so let's go ahead and click save. Hey guys, real quick, if you're finding this helpful so far, I've actually created a free user guide. It's a PDF that'll be sent right to your inbox that gives you the top 32 functions that are the most successful within Smartsheet. I tell you what they are, I show you a brief description of how to use them, and what instances to use them for. Again, it's a free PDF guide, it's one sheet, it's all yours, I created it just for you. Just click in the bio below and it's yours. All right. Let's get back to this video. Let's go back to our sheet. I'm going to show you what the automation looks like. All right, so if the trigger is ready for intake, I'm just going to copy this and paste it in a bunch of random places. And then again, you get your crosshairs on the bottom right. You can drag and drop and load all this up. So if I click Save and refresh my screen, Everywhere it says ready for intake should populate that contact right here in PM. Click refresh. And there we have it. Contact automatically populated all through there because ready for intake was chosen. And again, this helps when you have multiple tasks or multiple projects going at once. 
And that is how you automatically assign someone when certain criteria is met. All right, you guys, as always, take care and God bless, and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow.